Canada's freight railways have reduced their emissions intensity by 25.1% since 2005. We see that commitment in real time with projects like CN's battery electric trial, CP's hydrogen locomotive, and on the passenger side, Metrolink's electrifying their network and VIA's beautiful new fuel-efficient intercity fleet. The roadmap will be the foundation for collaboration and action and future efforts to decarbonize rail in Canada. The report is a comprehensive roadmap for decarbonizing Canada's rail sector. The report shows that there are indeed solutions for reducing greenhouse gas emissions from rail, including battery electric and hydrogen. And Canada's rail industry is already making important progress on these zero emission technologies. Pollution Probe is looking forward to the successful implementation of this report and its recommendations as a contribution to meeting Canada's climate commitments. The real heart of the rail decarbonization pathway work is the assessment framework. This was developed to map the relative trajectories of the various decarbonization technologies as they evolve and are tested in the real world. And I should say that when I say decarbonization technology, I'm referring both to alternative fuels and what we would more commonly think of as technologies such as electric and hydrogen locomotives. The unique feature of this framework is that it's intended to be applied regularly over time to continually assess the leading options for rail decarbonization. So we like to say that the assessment framework will be as useful in 2042 as it is now in 2022.